first story. My spineless husband cheated on me while I was pregnant as a favor and had a five-year-old daughter. Now he is too shy to admit about his cheating and having a daughter to our kids, causing them to have mental breakdowns. So I divorced his sorry arse taking all the kids and revoked his parental rights. My 34F life is falling apart, and it's all thanks to my husband. We had a perfect life. Both of us worked in the jobs we loved, and we have a beautiful daughter 10F and a healthy son 5M. When I was pregnant with our son, we both almost died due to complications. So before the birth and even afterwards, I didn't want to have SX. Why would I? I almost died, and my body was in pain for months afterwards, even with strong medication. I thought my husband understood because he never pushed me for SX or even asked. I thought it was because he understood my pain, but apparently he was just getting it from somewhere else. A few months ago, we were visited by Child Protective Services. I was terrified at first, frantically thinking of what we did wrong with our children to cause a visit. But no, as it turns out, some woman I've never met before died in a car accident, leaving behind a daughter. My husband's name was on the girl's birth certificate, and he was named in the woman's will as the father. I thought it was a mistake at first, until my husband told me the truth. As it turns out, while I was suffering from my pregnancy and the aftereffects of almost dying, my husband would go to a woman he knew at work and get it off with her. He said this as if he were doing me a favor. Well, as the CPS worker explained to us, my husband is her closest living relative who can care for her. The woman's family apparently wanted nothing to do with the poor little girl. When she asked us if we wanted to take her in, I said yes. Yes, I know this might be the true cause of all my issues. But my husband pawned that poor girl off to live with her single mother for five years. He doesn't get to pawn her away when she needs help. She's his responsibility, and now it's ours. I told him I'd help take care of the necessary visits for wellness checks and help with whatever CPS wants us to do. All he had to do was explain everything to our children. The fact I'm saying this tells you what he did. Yes, nothing. We had to clean out a room, buy new furniture, and even look for some toys. Our children go to a private school so I picked up some more work hours in order to be able to afford her tuition. I was the one who had to tell our extended families about the big change, because he didn't want to do so. I did almost all the heavy lifting. So color me shocked when his daughter finally joined our family two weeks ago, and the first words out of our children's mouths were, Who's that? Yes, I was the one who had to tell our children's school, extended families, family doctors, and my workplace about my husband's affair and subsequent addition to our family. But he couldn't tell our children that he was too ashamed to face them. So guess who was the one who had to explain that they have a sister now as I'm trying to settle the poor girl into her new home and room. And shocker, our children didn't take the news well, as it was happening right in front of them. My daughter was screaming while crying, causing my son and the little girl to cry. A situation that could have been avoided if my husband just did the one thing I asked of him and explained everything to them much sooner. It's been two weeks of her living with us and the situation hasn't improved. My husband has not picked up the slack that comes with having a new addition to the family, so we're struggling right now to make ends meet. I feel embarrassed bringing all three children around for appointments and groceries, because the little girl is very obviously not mine, and I can tell people are judging our family. My daughter is much moodier and less happy, and she refuses to even acknowledge our newest addition to the family. Our son doesn't really understand what is going on, and it's causing even him to lash out and I don't even know how to help the poor little girl, because I know that if I feel like my life is falling apart, she must feel even worse. I suggested family therapy, therapy for our children, or even just marriage therapy, so we can hopefully move past this and work together as a unit for all the children. He's refused everything, saying that he knows he'll be lectured by everyone when all he was doing was trying to help me. I just don't know how to fix this. Please help me. I don't want to divorce him because I just know that will make it worse for the kids, but that's the only option my family is telling me. Meanwhile, his family is begging me to make this work and to just look past it. Thank you. I hear you all loud and clear. I will be looking into therapy for me and the children, and hopefully a good divorce lawyer. But first, I need to get some answers because some of you are raising some good points. Comments. Usually right too. The kids need therapy. If he won't go, that should tell you a lot. He doesn't give it SHT about any of you. And also, doing you a favor. What the actual f? None of these kids asked for this. You didn't ask for this. He created all of this mess and won't help to fix it. I'd be talking to an attorney second, but a therapist first. Chicken fight here, ma'am. Less. Take your babies and go OP. He can hire a sitter to care for his daughter. Your first priority has to be your kids, and your daughter sounds like she is not doing well. 
find an apartment and separate your finances. If even after that, he still won't do anything, which I suspect he won't, then what more proof do you need that he's a despicable loser? Go find an apartment, get your kids in therapy, and talk to an attorney. This marriage sounds long overdue. Quit setting yourself on fire to keep him warm. He certainly doesn't care about you. Bevan Checkerpence. F that. She should get to keep the house. He can go get a damn apartment. Update. Seven days later. I'm sorry. You all were right. It was a lie. When all of you were pointing out how the kids' responses to the youngest arriving didn't make sense, it made me realize how correct that is. They came home to a room all made up, and I made passing comments to them, asking about how excited they were for the youngest's arrival. They should have known about her. At this point, I decided to just ask my eldest daughter directly because she was still so upset about it, and I subconsciously knew I wasn't going to get the truth from my husband. So I went to her room while she was lying in bed, and I asked her. I told her that I had asked her father to explain to the two of them what was going to happen. They saw her new room, and I talked about her to them, so I don't understand my eldest's reaction. So yes, it turns out my husband didn't tell them. And then I learned the truth. A surprise to no one I am figuring out. The story he told the kids was that the youngest was the daughter of one of our friends, and we felt so bad we had to take her in. There is nothing about her being their half-sister or him having a daughter with another woman. Well, when she came home that day, and the kids asked who she was the pictures we were able to share of the youngest, she had braids in, and wore much different clothing, than when she arrived it was my response to them that ruined his little lie. This is youngest's name, your half-sister remember. Our son was too young to really get what it meant, but our daughter did. That's why she freaked out that day, not because of the new addition to the family, but because of what the new addition meant. I apologize for causing her to freak out that day, for not sitting both her and her brother down for a real discussion over how they feel, and to make sure their father did what he was supposed to do, and for only talking to her, now after she had a much-deserved reaction to it all. My daughter accepted the apology, and I asked her if that was why she was distant from the youngest. She told me that's part of it, and because word got out at her school about what the newest addition to our family going to the school meant, now she's getting teased and picked on for having a father who cheated. It broke my heart to realize just how badly I messed up. By continuing to beg the spineless man, they called a father to help them, and then allowing myself to get shut down. I was essentially allowing all the kids needs to be ignored. I told my daughter I'd sign her and her brother and sister up for therapy. Of course, the pathetic man tried to plead with me, not to when I mentioned signing the kids up, but I told him to give it up already. All three children's lives have changed, and it will help them adjust to having a professional to speak to. He's been grumbling and whining about it, but I don't care anymore. And this might cause many to be upset with me, but I'm in the process with my husband to have him transfer custody of the youngest to me. I've grown to care for her, and as some comments in my last post have pointed out, once I do divorce him and leave with our kids, I don't doubt he'll treat her awfully or neglect her. He's been right on board, and it took some convincing, but his parents finally agreed to be witnesses. I got all the paperwork set up and scheduled an appointment with an attorney to help with anything else, once that happens. I'll try to get everything I need in order to have a smoother divorce, and then make a subsequent move to be closer to my family. Thank you to everyone for giving me a good slap in the face, and helping me realize that the children and I deserve better. And I was being so gullible into thinking a man who cheats on his dying pregnant wife is deserving of any respect. Comments. Pankakwagon26. You're doing a very noble thing by taking care of this girl. She's not your responsibility, but you're taking it on anyway. You're an angel. Second story. I just found out my girlfriend has a husband, and I'm her affair partner, so I exposed her to her husband and ghosted her. I've been involved in an affair. Actually, my girlfriend or partner has been having an affair with me for the last four months. I won't go into detail, but I feel horrible and disgusted. I've always hated cheating, and I never want anything good to come to cheaters. But now, I've gotten mixed up in it, and it's eating me alive. So, four months ago, I met this woman she is 29 at my gym, and we pretty much connected instantly. Over the course of four months, we became a couple, went on many dates, and had SX plenty of times. I was a virgin before I met her. I never had a girlfriend or SX, and I really felt that life finally kicked in for me, and that things would get better. I'm 24, and before I met her, I always felt like a reject and a weirdo because of my lack of success in dating and relationships. The other day by chance, I found out she has a husband, and I wanted to bury myself on the spot. I felt so bad, I can't put it into words. She wanted to have SX after we had a date, but I lied and told her that I couldn't do it that day because I had something planned. I came home, 
and I was ashamed of myself. I managed to find her husband on social media, and I've been going back and forth on wanting to reveal everything. I saved all our chats and pictures, and I even have some receipts from our dinners. I talked to my mom about it, and she told me that since I managed to find him, and since I have evidence, I should inform him. My mom told me that he deserves to know, and if it were up to her, she would have revealed everything. But she told me that it's my decision to make. I feel like this woman played both me and her husband. And now I hate myself. Comments. Arsenal 7. Get tested for STDs. You have no idea how many partners she's had. If it were me, I would tell him. OP, thank you for the advice. I'm going to do that. As for telling, I've already made the decision to inform her husband about her cheating. Hopefully, I won't be collateral damage in all of this. Maka 2021. NTA. You're not a cheater, so don't feel bad about it. You were fooled, just like her husband's being fooled. If you continue, then that's a different story. Let the husband know it's a decent thing to do. Then block her everywhere, and perhaps change gyms. Judgment. NTA. Update. Four days later. Short and straight to the point. I used a fake and anonymous account to send him details and some pictures. I also told him that I have more evidence that I would like to share. He didn't respond until yesterday, when he said that he wanted to know more. Today, I sent him everything and explained everything in detail. It turns out he already suspected her of cheating. He just didn't have any proof. He wasn't angry or sad. He was just disappointed a lot. He also thought I would be older. He said that he doesn't blame me. It wasn't my fault. He told me that he owes me big time because he wanted to hire somebody to find out if she was actually cheating. So I actually saved him both time and money. After I explained everything, he was mostly relieved, thanked me for helping him, and asked if there was something he could do to repay me. I said that he should help somebody else, and that would make us even. He thanked me, told me that I'm a good guy, and that was mostly it. He will file for divorce, in case anybody is wondering. I haven't heard from my affair partner for a few days now. And I'm pretty sure he didn't tell her where he got all the proof from because she didn't call and yell at me. I blocked her on everything anyway after my talk with her husband. And it's time to move forward. SHTTY experience from a first relationship. But what can you do? Comments. Possible wall 56. You did the right thing. You would want to know if it was you. Constant crew 3D 609. This is why you do so anonymously, while also being willing to answer questions. Darth Vineth. Bro, I am so proud of you. You did well. And I'm glad he took it well. I couldn't be happier for this update. OP. He was so kind and nice. I felt so bad. I kept apologizing. But he kept saying he didn't blame me. And that it wasn't my fault. Third story. OP kicked her son's girlfriend out of the house at their first meeting and wonders if she is an ah. My husband 58M and I 56F recently met my son's 24M girlfriend for the first time. He's been crazy about her. Apparently. They've been dating for a year before he decided to have her meet us officially. What he's told us about her all seems great. She just got her degree, was enjoying her job, was family-oriented etc. I'm honestly just glad he's happy with her. My husband, and I don't think he's ever been this into someone before, so I feel pretty bad about what I did. Last weekend, he brought her over for dinner. By now, we'd been anticipating meeting her, given how much our son has been gushing about her. How perfect she is that she's the one, in his words. They ring the doorbell. We open the door. She looks exactly like her pictures, which is a great start. My son is grinning ear to ear another great start. We invite them in. She accepts my hug and a firm handshake from my husband. And then she opens her mouth. I'm the one your son puts his DCK in. To be frank, I was appalled. I expected my husband to laugh, both he and my son are jokesters. And as annoying as it can be, I love it. But this was just too much for me. Maybe I'm reserved. But of all the things she could have shared about my son, she told us that. One look at my face, and my husband knew how much I disapproved. Maybe I let my expectations get too high. And it's unfair to have them. But I reiterate. Of all things to say to her boyfriend's parents, whom she'd never met, she chose that. My son was amused at first. But when he noticed my reaction, his face dropped. I felt like he'd sold me the full package, everything he'd always been looking for in a girlfriend. I was too disturbed by the visual, it put in my head, and it translated into anger. I told her to get out, and I wanted to say more about how gross it made me feel, but I fortunately left it at that. My son didn't want to go, insisting I give her another chance, but I was too fed up and uncomfortable by this point. Even my husband, who's enjoyed his fair share of raunchy jokes, wouldn't let up. They left, and I immediately felt guilty. 
This was something my son had really looked forward to, and I feel like I took that away over a dumb joke. I tried calling to apologize, but he hasn't responded. My husband thinks she's the one who should apologize. I'm considering giving her another chance, but before I do, was I the ah? Relevant comments. Is it possible your son told her to say that? This honestly wouldn't surprise me, but I'm not going to lie, I'd be disappointed in him. That's not something he'd ever say in front of me directly because he knows I'm not a fan of any personal jokes of that nature. So to make his girlfriend say it wouldn't be very good, and I'd hope that if that is the case, he makes it up to her somehow. I'll try to reach out again to let them know we can try again. That possibility makes me feel 1,000 times worse. Did she even try to apologize, or was she nervous? I honestly don't think I gave her enough time to react properly, and I regret that. Things could have gone a lot smoother if I had. She was just sort of frozen in shock, and she kept looking at my son to try to convince me not to kick her out. I guess she wasn't sure what else she could say at that point. It's hard to say for sure, because I don't know her that well yet. But I think she was anxious too much to realize what she said was inappropriate, so if she was embarrassed, I couldn't tell. I also don't think I gave her much of a chance since it all happened so fast. I'll try to reach out to my son about it. Has your husband been making any raunchy jokes leading up to her visit? Something like, can't wait to meet the person you're sleeping with. I can honestly say no. I've never heard my husband say that. He's raunchy, yes, but not when it comes to our kids. OP reflects. I agree. I should have been more patient about it. I think if we were to try again, things would go much smoother. Hopefully we can laugh about this later down the line and leave it at that. I wish I took this approach. Without making too many excuses for myself, I can say I got too caught in the heat of the moment. I'd love to give her another chance. Just as long as I'm not given any more graphic visuals especially at dinner. I hope she's willing to try again. He's not forcing me to give her another chance. I want a do-over. I think we all deserve it. I don't think she'll make another joke like that again. Can you try texting or contacting her directly? I would love that approach, but I unfortunately don't have any way of contacting her except through my son. He said he'll give me a call when he gets the chance, so surely by the end of the week. I can't imagine how badly I made her feel about this and regret it. A few heavily downvoted comments on you should just be more SX positive. Not gonna lie. I think this took an extreme turn. I'm not at all against SX inclusivity, positivity, or whatever it is. I'm well aware that it's human nature, and that my son has SX. I know it's normal. But I'm entitled to my ignorance about the details. They've already been dating for a year. I'd be surprised if they weren't having SX. That doesn't warrant her saying it though. Edit. Sometime in the next couple of days, I should clear some things up. My husband had no part in my reaction. I did the kicking out, not him. I don't want him to take the fall for this. He said she should apologize, but I'm not expecting an apology. Sorry for the confusion. My son lives in a nearby state. It can take about an hour to get back to where we live. He also hasn't dated anyone seriously for a while, maybe a couple of years. He told us before that he wouldn't bring anyone home, unless he's sure he wants a future with her. We've been asking to meet her ever since he told us about her, but he wanted to be ready. The comment about her looking like her picture shows my age. Sorry for that. He's only shown us the photos she sent him, as he apparently didn't have any of them together he hates taking pictures, and apparently she's always teasing him about it. I don't think he'd ever lie about who she is, but it's just a parental concern I've subconsciously had. I felt the same way about my daughter's then-boyfriend when we first met him. I don't have any criteria that either of my kids' spouses need to meet. I just hope my kids are happy with them. What I meant by her being the full package was indicative of what he's told us about her. As his parents, we have a good idea of what he looks for in a partner, and she checked off everything based on what we'd been told. And on top of everything aside from what she said, her appearance was how she presented it to be. Again, we aren't strict about appearances, it's just a relief to have met someone for the first time, and they look like what you'd expected. My husband said that I was worried about second-hand catfishing, if that's even a thing. I guess it shows how anxious I was about this. Also, thank you for your comments and rewards. I've had a few people reach out to me personally too. Thank you for that. Regardless of where you stand, I appreciate it. I personally think everyone needs some room for improvement here, but I've done my part to make amends, and I'm waiting on my son to call me. I'll be sure to give an update about how it goes. OP is voted NTA. Update same post. One and a half weeks later. Thanks for reaching out to everyone. My son got in touch with me. His girlfriend agreed to try it again. We all met at a restaurant my son and his girlfriend chose. 
The first thing she said was an apology for what she said. I apologized for my reaction. We hugged. It was nice. She then explained how my son had convinced her a joke like that would land well, and that she wouldn't have said it if she didn't think we'd like it. According to my son, she was reluctant to open with any jokes at all, but they came up with that one together on the way over. You guys were right. She's a really sweet girl. She's actually very mature too. I see why my son likes her so much. My husband and I really like her. We told our son to bring her when he visits. We look forward to seeing them again. Overall, I'm glad we could start over. On the right foot this time. Thanks to everyone for their input. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.